How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. What are you... Checking hey, them out? listen. I've got this okay. delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber-psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Walking the streets, a laundry list of opportunities and debt swirling in my head. Vic's upgrades on layaway. Jackie's talk of a job from this Dex to Sean. And Regina Jones with her extra legal police work. Night City's a chessboard. And I'm just a pawn trying not to get knocked off. First things first, that 21,000 Eddie's I owe Vic. Gotta keep the doc happy. He's the guy keeping me in one piece. The ballistics co-processor and Kuroshi optics sound tempting. But that dad is hanging over me like a dark cloud. Dex to Sean, huh? Big time player or big time trouble? Skepticism's my middle name, and I'm not diving into anything blind. If he wants to talk, fine, but I'll be keeping my cards close. Connections in Night City are a currency of their own, and I'm in the market. Regina Jones and her cyber psycho threats. NCPD can't handle it, or won't. Either way, it's a job. Money's money, and Night City doesn't run on goodwill. I'll check it out, keep Regina happy, and maybe carve a niche for myself in this tangled mess. And then there's the Tiger Claws. No love lost there, but they've got pockets to pick and merchandise to liberate. It's not just about the Eddies. It's about sending a message. I'm not just a pawn. I'm a player, and Night City's my game board. So here I am, walking the streets, navigating the neon-lit maze of opportunities and dangers. Night City, you're a relentless beast, but I've got my wits and my street smarts. Let's see if I can turn this chaos into a winning hand. Move, or you'll be on a liquid diet till the day you die. This party started! Gangoon's deciding to make my day a bit more interesting. Quick draw of the pistol, a dance of bullets, and no love lost. One of their motorcycles catches my eye. A little bonus for the trouble they tried to stir up. Don't mind if I do. It's a reminder that even in the chaos, there's always a silver lining. Kabuki Town, a slum built by the Japanese, now a melting pot of Chinese immigrant labor. The veins of Night City, where the currents of illicit activities flow. The Tiger Claws, those feline devils. They're bound to be around here, using the slums as their playground for moving whatever shady merchandise they've got. As I head to this slum area near the bay, thoughts are buzzing in my head like neon lights. 
Tiger Claws, the Untouchables. But everyone's got their Achilles heel, and I'm about to poke around to find theirs. Our calculations have determined that you are listening to 103.5 Radio Pepcac. The numbers never lie. Slipping through the shadows of the waterfront slum, tiger claw goons like prowling tigers guarding their turf. Direct confrontation, not on my to-do list. Sneaking around, chokeholds from behind. It's a dance of silence and precision. I've got no desire for a face-off with the whole gang. I prefer the shadows. What's in this guarded area? Valuables, secrets, or maybe just a cozy spot for the tiger claws to count their ill-gotten gains. Night City's filled with hidden treasures, and where there's heavy guarding, there's usually something worth snagging. My senses are sharp, ears tuned to every footstep, every creak of the rusted metal round. The waterfront slum holds its secrets close, and I aim to coax them out. As I navigate this maze of shipping containers and flickering neon signs, thoughts race. What could be so valuable that Tiger Claws are playing watchdog? Eddie's tech or something darker? I'm about to find out, one silent step at a time. Well, looks like Lady Luck decided to throw me a birthday present. Or at least that's what the note says. A stash of 989 eddies and some hints about tiger claws working overtime in a lab to make some glitter. Not exactly a surprise party, but eddies are eddies. Picking up the cash, my mind starts spinning. Where's this lab? Who's Shiro, the big tiger claw in line for this gift? And how much are they raking in with their glittery operation? Night City's got its secrets, and this dead drop just handed me a key. Pocketing the eddies and slipping away like a phantom over the corrugated shack's rooftops. I can't shake the curiosity. The lab, Shiro, glitter. It's a tangled web, and I'm just starting to pull at the threads. reprisals. As long as I stay hidden, keep to the shadows. I should be in the clear. Night City is a jungle and I'm a silent predator on the hunt. The waterfront slum might be the beginning of unraveling Tiger Claw's secrets. The kind of secrets that can turn the tide in the city of chaos. For now, I'll tuck this mystery into the back of my mind, be on the lookout, and keep dancing in the shadows. Night City, you just got a little more interesting. Let's see what other surprises you've got for me.